Hello again ladies and gents, how are we all doing? It's very nice to see you all again as always. So it would appear that Lee Anderson, the Conservative Party MP, has been suspended by the Tory party in regards to the comments he made on a show on GB News. What Lee basically said was that Sadiq Khan, the poisonous little dwarf who lives in the Tower of London, has given away parts, if not all, of London to his Islamist friends, which between you and me, I think he's pretty spot on with. Now, of course, social media was awash with left-wing rage, hate, tantrums, screeching, tears, all the whole shebang. They wanted, him, they wanted to put him in stocks. They want to throw the arm through him. They want him hung, drawn and quartered. They want him expelled from the country. If you don't do this, Rishi, if you don't do that, Rishi, you're one of the weakest prime ministers we've ever had. I think he's doing a pretty good job of that himself, by the way. He's arguably one of the worst, weakest Prime Ministers we have ever, ever had. Alas, what does he do? Rishi Sunak being Rishi Sunak, he appeases the baying mob, stood outside Westminster with their pitchfork and torches, expels Lee Anderson from the party. This has happened on many, many occasions. Suella Braverman spoke up about immigration, both illegal and legal. What happens? Lost a job as Horn Secretary. Why? Because the left-wing mob wanted it. Sack Corilla de Ville. She is a representation of Hitler. She is evil. Yada, yada, yada. Bollocks. Andrew Bridgen, pretty much the same, although his topics differed slightly. He was more well, we can't really go on to that because this is YouTube and, uh, yeah, we all know what bullshit that is. Same thing happened to him. Out the door, poof, gone. Lee Anderson, very choice words, but words that the majority of the British public follow and appreciate and resonate with. What happens to him? Poof, out the door, gone. In all my years of following politics, guys, since I was about... 18, 19, since I cast my first vote back in 1997-ish for my eternal sins, I did actually vote for Tony Blair yep, I was young, I was naive, I was stupid, I didn't know what I was doing I was impressionable, we'll just leave that one there to die a horrible death but alas, in all my years that I've been following politics I have never ever come across a political party so hell-bent on destroying itself from within as I have with the Conservative Party over the last 14 years. Every single decision that that party has made has gone against the British public, the country as a whole, the Brexit deal that Boris Johnson uh, championed. Terrible. We're still part of the European Union. Brexit has never ever been implemented even after all these years. The Covid lockdowns. Again, I can't go too far into this fiasco the country is in economic crisis because of it the nhs is on its bending knees not solely because of it but partly because of it i could go on and on and on every single decision has gone against the country the public and what we stand for and what's best for us there's got to be some other big planet player here there has to be because otherwise this is political suicide. Getting rid of MPs that resonate with the British public, every single one, until you're left with Conservatives in name only. Undercover socialists, Marxists, that have infiltrated the Conservative Party over the years, and now it is basically another Labour Party. Liberal Democrat Party, it's finished. This suspension of Lee Anderson, to me, is the final nail in the Tory coffin. I don't see them in power anywhere near 10 Downing Street years to come. And that can only spell one thing. Years upon years upon years of Keir Starmer and the rest of Fraggle Rock. It's terrifying. In these 14, 15 years, the Tories have been abysmal. But I tell you what, the Labour Party can and will be worse. Me, just like many others in the country, are now politically homeless. There's no right-wing party at all to, to vote for. Reform Party, that's been discovered. I was going to vote for them, not no longer. Richard Tice has seen to that. Conservatives, 
don't have a laugh, they're finished. We've got Liberal Democrats, SNP and Labour. <laughs> We've got some tough years ahead of us, guys. Strap in, because it's going to be a rough ride. Sorry to be depressing on a Sunday like this, but there we are. Thanks for watching, and please, if you are watching this, please do click on that subscribe button, because it's heart-wrenching doing videos for only 38 people, week in, week out. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.